So having used the Pixel 6a now for the last week, I can say with confidence it's one of the best phones you can get under $500. It borrows the same design from its brother, the Google Pixel 6, which released last year. But the question is, should you buy the Pixel 6a over the iPhone 13 mini? Well, a couple of reasons you might consider getting the 6a would be that it comes with a much bigger display at 6.1 inches, and it also has a fantastic battery life with a much larger battery inside of it. Of course, you also can't forget the price savings on getting the Pixel 6a, which will save you at least a few hundred dollars. Now, as far as designs, both are glass, but it's the 6a that shines with the new revamped Pixel design. Phone photography, I would say both phones are about even, and I also say that on the speed front as well. Now, the next thing I would like to do is run some video and gaming on both phones so you can see them in action. Of course, if you guys would like to see our full written reviews on either of these phones, we'll have some links in the description. For now, let's run it. They are heartless.